All right, day 92, 92 days of walking at least one mile. I'll put the camera on and we'll get going. All right, nice and sunny today, but it's kind of cool, so I gotta put a jacket on. Uh, I think Ranger wants some food. You want some food, buddy? Come on, come on, come on, Duel. Oh, you're talking too. Come on. You do a fist bump for the camera? All right. Good boy. All right, let's get you some food. Come on. Come on, Duel. Here you go. I already had one breakfast. Now he's having another. Oof, hungry guy today. That's good. He needs to gain some weight. All right. Oh, shoot. I forgot to put my shoes on. All right. I put this jacket on and slip my shoes on real quick. We'll get going. Usually have my shoes on beforehand, but I forgot. It's feeding ranger. <sighs> nice and sunny today. There's a, a little cloudy yesterday. It's a little cool. Then I went to Manhattan Beach yesterday. You want to see those? I made two videos. And uh, I went to what they call the, uh, you know, this on. Get going here. All right, buddy. Start the timer. All right. He's eating all his food. It's doing good. All right. Hmm. Start the timer and get going here. All right. All right, put in your guesses how far I'll go, how long it'll take. Do three videos today, three walks. Uh, each one about a mile, so you have to put in how long it'll take. But, uh, just gonna go a little bit farther today. All right. So yesterday, it was a little cool today. I went to Manhattan Beach. They call it the uh, hill air, the hill section. And I found out why. I must have walked up 10 huge hills. I made the mistake of going east-west up and down the streets instead of north-south. Two weeks ago I went north-south, so it was just straight across. But yesterday I thought it'd be interesting to go east-west, which was a big mistake, because a lot of the houses are built up on the hill. That's why they call it the hill section. And you walk east-west down each block. You're walking down a hill and back up a hill. And I must have done that eight or 10 times yesterday. Up a hill, down a hill, up a hill, down a hill. I was exhausted. But uh, a lot of those houses had gorgeous views. That was yesterday. There were two, two walks of about a mile apiece yesterday. But there were some gorgeous mansions there. I toured one house. It was about 5.7 million. Had beautiful views of the city, not, not really the ocean but the city, so that was really nice. Put in your guesses how many Teslas, muscle cars. I only see about twice as many Teslas. I'm gonna go down the main street for a while today. So this first video, I probably see, I don't know. I'll say, Fourteen and a half. 
seven and a half, 14 and a half Tesla, 17 and a half muscle cars. Dogs, probably not a lot of dogs on this trip, on this first walk. I don't know, maybe two and a half. See what we see. Kind of windy. All right. Across the street here. Yeah. I go down a little bit farther down on this uh, street today than cut down. Yesterday I was up in the, like I say, the hill section. So there were so many Teslas I couldn't even count them all. For lost count, there were so many, and every house was like a Porsche, a Tesla, a Mercedes. Every house. Oh, that's the wrong way. I want to go this way. Gonna be a minute. Here goes the first Tesla. There's a muscle car. Second Tesla. No, that's not a, is that a Tesla? I think, so. not sure. I don't know if that is or not. We better keep it at one. Four door Porsche. There were some beautiful houses yesterday. Went there a week ago and then went there again today. A red Mustang, two muscle cars. And uh, I went by the house that, uh, another Tesla, number two Tesla. Where Jerry, Jerry Gaunt lives. But I didn't really uh, point it out. I wasn't sure which one it was, but I did. It's on the tape. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out which one it was, but unbeknownst to me, I'd made video of it. it goes number two Tesla. Number's a policeman. FedEx first delivery truck. Say two, two and a half on this first trip. And uh, then I read about where he lived. Jared Goff is a, is a quarterback for the Rams, was, there's number three Tesla. And now he got traded to Detroit, but he still has his house here. And he bought the lot next to it, so a $10 million house next to it. And apparently he's gonna tear it down and expand his house. <laughs> So uh, that was kind of interesting, but like I said, I didn't really point it out on the video because I didn't really know which one it was. But it is on the video. It was across the street from the houses. I was trying to figure out which one was his. <laughs> uh, and then I found out Shaq used to live in that house. So I guess he bought the house that Shaq used to live in. So. In the off season, obviously, I guess he likes to, he'd prefer to stay here in Manhattan Beach than Detroit. Who can blame him? So I'm sure he, I guess he rents or maybe bought a house in Detroit too. I don't know. But obviously he's keeping his main residence here because he bought the lot next to it, which was $10 million. Number four, Tesla. Number five, Tesla. Mm -hmm. 
So anyway, that was the uh, excitement and lowdown on the Jared Goff house. So exciting. Actually, there were a lot. It seemed like there were many more houses that looked uh, more expensive than his house. I don't know what all those people do. Lawyers and doctors and people in the entertainment industry, I guess. Here comes another muscle car. Uh, charger, two doors. What's that, three, two or three muscle cars, number five or six Tesla right there. I don't know, I already lost count. Six, six, six or seven Teslas already. I guess I should count how many work crews I see. I see a lot on Monday. It's already the first one. I think I see a ton on down this main street because But once we get down in the neighborhoods, there's always construction or yard workers or something. All right, almost did a half a mile. Time is flying. Man, no cars are going by, it's nice and quiet. And all the cars goes by, it's a lot louder. Number, number eight, Tesla. Number nine, Tesla. There goes a three in a row. Ten Tesla. White, red, and black all in a row. I think we're going to get over the 14th. Number 11 Tesla, number 12 Tesla, two together. There's another muscle car. I don't know if it's a, it's like a must, I mean, it's a Mustang body, but yeah, it's a Mustang. I don't know now if it's a Shelby or a Cobra or what. Another Tesla, what's that, already 14, 13, 14? I lost count. They're already at 14 Teslas in a half a mile. Goodness. That's an unbelievable amount of Teslas. Gonna have 20. Go down the main street, you see a lot more. All right. There's another one, 15, 15 Teslas. Comes another muscle car. Is this a Charger or a Challenger? This is a Charger. Challenger has two doors. I called the other one wrong before. There comes a Mustang, it's at six now. I think, I don't know. Like 15 Teslas and six muscle cars. One work crew. Here's a rug, they just put a rug out here. What's going on with that? if I've walked down that street or not but chances are I have so I'm gonna go on down to the end today another Tesla 16 old Jag One work crew, 
one the Mercedes late model Mercedes Jeep it's another Mustang number seven oh, that's a Camaro Camaro's looking there's another Tesla I don't know how many that 17 It'll probably get hot before this is all over. I don't think I've been down that street before. There's a Camaro, number two Camaro. It's a little half a car coming here. Bicycle, we saw like a big old RV here. Look at that. Interesting Mercedes changes colors. Can't really see it too well. It's under the it's behind that fence, but it kind of changed colors. One of those, depending upon where you're standing from, it, it reflects the light. All right, I know I have not walked down this street up here, so we're going to choose this one. See this yellow house here. It's very yellow. I don't know if this cuts through or not. Well, so we're going to find out. Let's see what we see down this street. That's a very yellow house. I've never driven on this street. I've never walked on this street. How you doing? Very yellow. That's a yellow house. Let's see if this street cuts through or what. I don't know what's on this street. It's like a lot of track houses that have never been torn down, all from the 60s. All these uh, ranch, it's a two story, one bedroom. I mean, uh, two bedroom, one bath. Almost all of them so far. There's another yard crew. What's that third work crew? It's all nice houses though. Just all basically. Yeah, three bedrooms maybe. Some of them. Basically all one uh, ranch tile. There's a two story. Kind of a Midwestern look there. The Cadillac. Trading in a Chevy for a Cadillac. I got, 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 you ought to know by now. He's a, oh, where am I at? Some nice houses. Oh, that's a bigger house there.
definitely added on to that one, huh? Interesting. Kind of, I don't even know what color you call that, mauve? Like a mauve color? Nice, got a little bit of a yard. Yeah, they got solar over there, look at that. It's a half moon driveway and solar's on their, on their house. Interesting. Guess we'll walk down here into this street. Kind of, I don't know where this is putting me now. I've been doing some work on this house or something. I'm painting it or, I don't know. It's like a little cul-de-sac here, I guess. I'm back to Inglewood. I'll be. Well, I guess I'll go back. I guess I just did a little turn. And remember not to do that again. Back to the main drag. We'll go down this next thing block. Maybe that'll take me through. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. A barber shop, huh? This must be new. It says established 2020. Maybe not in that location. Another muscle car, six. It's not happy. Uh oh, this is not even a street here. Oh, a street, you can't get through it. It's a walk street. I can get through. Must be another cul-de-sac, oh boy. Never gonna get out of this mess. Here comes a big old dog. I don't know what he is. You know, like a long-haired German Shepherd of some sort. I'm not gonna see him because of the car. It's a nice little cul-de-sac through here. More workmen. Like a third set of workmen, I think. Oh, they got like wood, it's like wood that you'd find in the house on their rail. That's interesting. Looks like it wouldn't be weather proof, but it looks like a like cherry wood or something. That's really weird. On their porch. It's an old van of some sort. From the like 80s, maybe, I'd say. The Nagin VW from the 80s, I would guess. Looks like it. Yeah, this looks like this street ends too. It's putting me at all kinds of ends. First older car I've seen. It's a van, not really a car. Usually in these neighborhoods, you see some older. I don't know where I'm at now. I think 
it's Inglewood, so I'm not really sure. I guess I'll walk up here and see what I see. Never been on this street before. There's a boat for sale. For this first walk, if you guessed, one point two one and twenty three minutes and sixteen seconds, you are the winner. Now we're going to talk the second walk. Let's take this off. Oh, somebody got a ticket. Oh, I still got it going. All right, that's it for the second walk. I'll put a recommendation for a video you like, might like. And that's it for this one. I'm going to start walk number two.